Uh, hey guys, I just recorded this entire video and it didn't save, so I'm gonna try to redo it again with uh, time monitoring so I don't overdo it. Yeah, the audio is. But today I'm gonna do part one of a document tutorial, which is a free uh, photo editing slash drawing software. So I'll just show you uh, how to sever set everything up and how to get ready to make some awesome like speed art and different stuff like that. So first, there's this tools bar. Up here we have, in this corner, make sure you have tools selected, layers selected, and colors selected. You don't need those two or that one. Um, then basically, what you want to do is go up to image, resize, okay, resize, and resize it to the shape and size that you're working with. For this, I'm just going to do it in 5x5 five five so you guys can see it really well. Um, so first off, let me just talk to you about the different tools. So there's the magic wand tool, which selects a shape. Um, like if I were to have a shape like a banana, it would select the banana if I just click the banana. Otherwise, yeah, stuff like that. There's the line tool, really useful. You'll be using this. It's a straight line that you can curve and such. Um, there's four curving points to curve it on. There's the shapes tool which uh, just has all these different shapes and stuff that you'll be using a lot. Uh, then there's this colors tab down here with the more colors. So this is all color adjustments. So there's this color wheel. Then there's all this stuff down here. Then there's all these sliders and such over here. Uh, I'm just going to select black for now. Um, and there, there's the more and less button to show more or less. There's the layers tab, which is really useful. You can add a layer with that button, delete a layer with that button rename a layer with that button and if you have more than one layer you can move them around with that so yeah um, and then there's this like paintbrush tool which does what it says then there's a line tool the paint bucket though that's this is important is different than on most drawing programs you actually have to select the area with the magic wand and then do that so, uh, otherwise it won't like you, it won't, won't work. Um, then there's the different select tools, so there's the rectangle select, uh, then there's the lasso select, which allows you to draw and select that drawn area. Uh, then there's the ellipse select, then there's two types of that thing. Uh, there's the zoom button, but you can just use zoom down here. Then there's also a panning button. This is useful for when you're zoomed way in, then you can move around. Because uh, you'll be zooming in a lot. Um, now, basically, there's also the gradient tool, which allows you to have your primary and secondary color and turn it into a gradient. Um, there's also some just basic stuff that you'll be using. There's these tabs up here like effects which just has things like that and stuff you know go through it um adjustments layers you won't use this that much image we've already used so you know you'll be using this view don't use this that much um but make sure you have that selected for just ease that's the grid view button so when you zoom in there's then a grid i didn't have that selected at the beginning of the video um then there's the edit won't use that that much because all the edit buttons are like right there that you need. Then there's the file button and some important stuff about saving. Save as always. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Then there's two types of things you can export as. There's the, well, there's more than two. Um, There's the PDN, which is if you're still working on it, that's a paint.net file. Or you can export it as like a BMP, GIF, JPEG, TIFF, Tiffany. Uh, TGA and direct draw surface. I don't know what that is though. Um, so don't do it. Uh, then some things that you can do with this software. It's really diverse and powerful. So let me just open up one or two things real quick. Um, um, me and my friends made a video game and I did all the artwork for the game in this program. So you can tell. All the artwork's really small though. Um, <laughs> but if we turn off grid, you can see that that's like the floor and stuff. So there's a bunch of cool stuff. So, yeah. And back.